about the FICO score, and I hear this, and I hear this, and I hear this over and over and over. You need to build your credit. If you don't borrow money, how are you going to build your credit so you can borrow more money? I, I'm not sure I've got that. You want me to borrow money so that I can build my credit so I have the opportunity to borrow more money? Yeah, that's, that, that, that's what you need to do, really. Sounds like a dog chasing its tail. I'm confused. <laughs> Uh, well, and, and so I got to looking at it. I used to fly up. I would leave on Monday afternoon after I did my show, and I would fly to uh, New York every other Monday and, and do the early show on CBS. Wonderful people. And uh, Harry, you know, Harry's a small guy on there with me. He's a great, great guy. And I did that every two weeks for about a two-year period, and just <coughs> kind of got tired of us for doing it. But they're great folk. And, and so our PR director, Beth Talent, was working with Megan, our segment producer, and they would preset the segments. You know what you're going to say. They know what you're going to say before you go on there, at least most of the time. They know what I'm going to say. And so, um, you know, they, they called up and said, we want to do a, a segment on build, how, how to build up your FICO score. We want Dave to, you know, show how to build up your FICO score. And Beth said, well, he probably won't do that, um, but he can tell you about the FICO score. And they said, uh, do, do what? <laughs> See, he'll, he'll tell you when he gets here. Just put it down. We'll work it out. And so, I got up there, and we're sitting there, and Ted, Harry's reading the teleprompter, and he says, So, Dave, uh, the FICO score is such an important part of your financial life today. Uh, what are your best ideas on building up your FICO score? And I said, Well, Harry, I don't think you should. And he said, I'm sorry? <laughs> I said, I don't think you should build up your FICO score, <laughs> because I looked it up on myfico.com, and the FICO score is all about how you borrow money, and if you don't borrow money, you don't have a FICO score, and I think you shouldn't borrow money, so I don't think you need a FICO score. Really? Well, all the other financial people are wrong. <laughs> And he's like, so, so the FICO score is a bad thing. I said, oh, it's a horrendous thing. It's the biggest lie that's been perpetuated on the American public in the whole financial world, and I don't know when. It's absolutely ridiculous. Really? Honestly? Yeah, yeah, Mary, that's the In breaking news, <laughs> interview's over. So, of course, I flew back to Nashville, and the FICO people just went into orbit. <laughs> he's trash us on national television! <laughs> So CBS sent him to our people because they didn't want to deal with him. And, and so Beth's like, the FICO people are going, we want to come on the Dave Ramsey show and debate with him about the FICO score. And Beth says, no, you really don't. <laughs> you think you do, but you don't. So, um, and they just kept on and kept on and kept on. And, and so, I, you know, I pulled it up on their website and you know, here's what we found. I mean, you can look at it if you want to. It's not hard to look at. 35% of your FICO score is based, based on your debt payments history. 30% of your FICO score is based on your debt levels. 15% is based on the length of time you've been in debt. 10% is based on the type of debt. And 10% is based on new debt. Your FICO score is not based on whether you win at money. It is based on how you have played kissy face with the bank. That's what it's about. That's the whole FICO score. So I can hand you a million dollars, and unless you pay it on debt, it won't touch your FICO score. You're all, you, you, your great uncle can die and leave you $10 million tomorrow, and you're a $10 millionaire, and your FICO score won't change one freaking point, because it has nothing to do with that at all. And so they kept on, and me, 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 and finally we started to get angry with them. And so I thought, well, I wonder what my FICO score is. I haven't borrowed money in 20 years. I wonder what it is. So we went on myfico.com, entered my stuff, and here's what we got back from them. Myfico.com says, our apologies and error has occurred. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your interest in score power. We regret that we were unable to fill, fulfill your score power order request because your credit report does not currently contain enough information to meet the minimum score criteria required to calculate a FICO score. I don't have a FICO score, that's zero. <laughs> Darn. In, in, in order for a FICO score to be calculated, a report must contain at least one account that has been open for six months or more, at least one account that has been updated in the last six months, and no indication of being deceased. <laughs> I think that was a threat. <laughs> so, so, here's how ludicrous our world is today. I can drive over here to rent a little apartment, one of these little apartment complexes, $800 a month, and, and the sweet little manager who works over there, who has a boss in another city and has a set of policies, is required to pull my credit bureau report in order to rent me an apartment, and she can't rent me an apartment, and she'll say, Mr. Ramsey, you don't have a FICO score, you can't rent you an apartment. Now, I can write a check and buy the freaking complex, <laughs> but I can't rent an apartment. That's how ridiculous this is. It's absurd. And yet we all run around going, pickle, 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 
Get my bike home. Oh, great bike home. Great bike home. The provider of all things good. Mm -hmm. See, you fall into stupidity and you're going to do nothing but play kissy face with the bank for the rest of your life. And listen, I'm, I'm re I really like banks. I think it's a good place to have a checking account. <laughs> the FICO score technically, mathematically, the algorithm that builds it is technically an I love that score.